Every year, scientists from all over the world come to Harvard, check their self-importance at the door of the Sanders Theater, and honor the year's most bizarre research. Take ornithology winner Dr. Ivan Schwab from the University of California, Davis, honored this year for his research into why woodpeckers don't get headaches. You see them doing this, you have to say, how can they do this and not hurt themselves? <laughs> you obviously have tenure. Uh, well, I have tenure, yes. As Dr. Schwab told the crowd, a woodpecker's tightly packed brain makes it a uniquely qualified headbanger. It's first in two, and then there will be other fractures. Sebastian Noequesh from the University of Paris won the physics prize for explaining why spaghetti often breaks into more than two pieces. It first breaks there, and then they were bending waves, and it breaks at another point. Here it is without the French accent. Notice the first break on the right, then a millisecond later, the shock waves trigger secondary breakage. There was also an acoustics prize, which went to a team from Northwestern for why fingernails on a chalkboard are annoying. An Australian researcher got the math prize for calculating how many pictures you need to take to be reasonably certain no one in the group is blinking. And finally, guest of honor and Ig Nobel legend, Kays Mulliker. Hayes won the biology prize three years ago for a paper he did in the Netherlands called the, the Sexual Perversity of Mallard Ducks. Because of this, this, this paper and this award, uh, I became kind of specialist in, in, in peculiar bird behavior. His latest subject is a masochistic blackbird who's been flying into the same plate glass window for two years now. Every day, every week, every month he's doing that. It's his life. Sounds like another Ig Nobel winner to me.